hearing somebody is keeping an eye on you from a distance, like you're being watched, um, but this person doesn't feel that close to you. Or maybe it's like when you are away from this person, um, they are still keeping an eye on you. Like this is somebody who is very protective over you and very possessive over you, but in a healthy way, like the kind of way that makes you excited, not makes you scared. So if that's resonating in a way that it shouldn't, please don't take it. Um, <laughs> I don't know why Lord of the Rings is coming to mind, so maybe that's something you and this person have in common. Um, this could also symbolize a mission that this person is on to get to you. This is somebody who is very intrigued by you. They can sense kind of like how magical you are or how different you are, the way that you stand out from a crowd. Um, but I'm just seeing like this person is just kind of following along on your journey, but staying at a distance, like staying to where they can't be seen. Um, I feel like they don't want to step forward yet because there's something that they need to do or something that they need to work on. So let's pull some cards and find out a little bit more about this specific love connection. Um, my name is Anna and I channel the angels for those of you who are unfamiliar. I trust that this message will find those it is meant to, and I trust that this message will be of love and of light. Okay. This makes me feel like this is somebody who you know, but like never really got a chance to know, or haven't gotten a chance to know yet. Like the essence of this person is very dark, very mysterious, and very serious about like their life, like the way that this person shows up in their life, um, they're very closed off from the world. Like they really don't lot, let a lot of people get close to them. But something about you for some reason just has this person very intrigued. It's like they hate you, but they love you at the same time. Or or it's, it's, it's not like a sense of hate. It's more just like everything that you stand for is exactly who this person is but they haven't connected to that part of themselves yet like they haven't connected to their divine magic like everything that you are with the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck coming out your strength i think is your strength is what this person admires most like they are surprised it's like when they think it's over or when they think you can't become something more or get better at something or stronger at something you do. And with the tower moment on the bottom, followed by the knight of pentacles, I feel like you've inspired this person to create some uh, chaos in their own life, or it's like close out a cycle in their own life. This could be somebody who was previously holding on to someone or something that came in between you and this person and they finally let it go is what I'm being told with the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands coming out here. I feel like you're both on your own in some way. This person does feel older. They feel like a more mature energy than you and you're somebody who's very mature for your age so that's actually surprising. And with the Four of Pentacles here, this to me is that energy of possession like I was talking about in the beginning. For some reason, with the star on the bottom of the deck and the Queen of Cups, I don't know why, and the Sun card, whoa, and Two of Wands, Destiny. I don't know why, but I get the feeling that this person like knows you on a very deep level, or they're very connected to you on a deep level. It's like they know that you are an energetic match for one another. They also know that you could be something really powerful together. But why isn't this person stepping forward? Like, I'm really curious to know why this person is waiting to step forward to you. And hearing you're in different timelines. Like, they're still in an old timeline. They, hold on. I just want to make sure it doesn't disappear. This person is still in an old timeline that you've let go of. With strength, strength on the bottom of the deck. Like, you were strong enough to let go a while ago. So they're still living in a completely different reality than you. Like, you've, you've jumped timelines further ahead than this person. And they are still in the old one, in the Ace of Cups. Something is happening here, though. 
It almost feels like an energy that can't be denied, like a love that can't be denied any longer. It feels like something is building up with the Two of Swords. Like there has to be the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Like this has to happen. Like the world needs it to happen. But you've gone ahead. I'm getting chills. You've gone ahead because the world needed you to no matter what. It's like God needed you to be able to give up this love. Like no matter what. I am crazy chills going through my body right now. You had to give up this love, like sacrifice this love, this timeline with this person in order to help aid the world. Oh my God. I'm like so connected to spirit. It's all over my body. You gave up this love. You gave up a chance to be with this person in order to do what you are being called to do, like in order to follow the call of your soul. It's like you had to, you had no choice. Like the, the strength it took for you to move forward, to leave that time, like, like the leave of faith that you took that puts you in this new timeline is just in, insane. And this person is meant to take this leap with you with the six of wands. They're meant to close out this cycle and step into this new beginning with you. And the page of cups just keeps hanging out on the bottom of the deck. Something about this person being a softy at heart. You gave up that timeline with that person, but why is it on your mind? Why is this person on your mind? Why is this timeline showing up right now? I don't understand. You made the sacrifice. You knew you made the sacrifice. So why is this still showing up with the Ten of Wands? Because something is meant to be here. I don't know if you guys can see my tarot painting. Something is meant to be here. Like this is your happily ever after. Your your love story like written out and my eyes were just stuck on that imaging because you're meant to be with this person like you're in, in another lifetime i don't know something might like that tower moment something might be taking place in this person's life that's like leading them to take this leap of faith with you It wouldn't surprise me if you hear from this person. Like it would not surprise me at all with the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Pentacles because something about you is changing. Something about your energy is changing. Like you fully accepted the role of something or you fully embodied this Empress energy and we have the trust on the bottom of the deck and the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Oh my God. I just, like I'm hearing like this person just can't stay away. I'm like, wow. The energy that you are becoming, like the person that you are becoming, is drawing this person to you. I had a dream last night about um, doing yoga, like with a partner, like doing couple yoga. So this could be a symbol of like working together as well. Like you are meant to work together with this person, Divine Spirit. One last card, I put them all back in the deck. One last card, Divine Spirit. Knight of Wands, this to me is like fast moving towards you, towards something. Like it wouldn't surprise me if you hear from this person very quickly, very soon after this message. Wow. Oh my God. And Eight of Wands on the bottom of it. Like fast movement. This is, oh, and King of Cups. This is your King of Cups. Wow. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing amazing. And something is happening within this connection. And you'll know who it is. You'll know who it's about. You'll know if this reading is for you. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is supposed to be exciting. Nothing to fear and nothing to worry about. Because it's happening. Like you're doing what you need to do. Now this person is going to be taking some sort of action towards you. So that's up to them. But keep doing what you're doing. As always, if you do feel called to dive in further to your personal love connection, I am here and I look forward to channeling for you whenever you feel called. And if you don't feel called, I love you.